What should Intertanko be most proud of over its first 40 years? Well, that's a great question. I, I think many, many things. Uh, I'm not sure I should just mention one. I think you know, if you go back to, from its inception, then I think it, uh, it grew very quickly and, I, and uh, pro really provided a lot of service and knowledge, not only to its, its, its members, but also to the to the, the larger public, but I think if you wanted to pick out a few highlights, the the the, uh, the, the Washington State case, I think was was very very significant. I mean that was a five year uh, after five years in the in the courts, we finally won. I feel like justice and common sense prevailed. I think that was important. The uh, you know the, the work that we've done with Orkinf on the on the SIA development of SIA, I think that was significant. The uh, the the, the the, the fact that we worked again with Hawkim to uh, on the common structural rules that was a that they had significant events so I think there's a, a, a number of significant events which uh, which which they should be proud of I should probably also mention tots which was the the competence scheme that's been developed for the members as well so it's, uh, it's difficult to pick just one and uh, what immediate challenges face the industry now I think that the uh, and, and this and again it, it is the industry I think that the, the, the Piracy is a, a cause of ongoing concern and frustration, I think, for the members. And, uh, and I, I think the other, the other issue out there, which I think is a greenhouse gas debate in, in IMO, uh, I mean, we're very supportive of the, the IMO process, we're very supportive of the AEDI, but we're also very concerned that, so, that some governments seem to want to impose a common but differentiated responsibility or introduce it into the IMO framework. And I, I think we believe that would be... a, a, a dramatic negative step in the wrong direction and what particular aims do you have as chairman now I think the uh, I mean obviously my first aim is to, uh, to to try and make sure that we provide the membership with the relevant support that we uh, that we have a voice which is uh, within the industry and also to the, to the more general public and, uh, and a, a, what I would say a positive and proactive voice we, we have a you know, we have a great industry, and, and we sometimes don't we don't tell that in, we don't actually tell that enough, or we don't say it enough. So I think the uh, and I think we, we need to be much we, we need to be proactive in in, uh, in determining you know, what our position is and in articulating it in an intelligent and not an objective way. So I think that's and I think the final in a way a personal objective is whatever we can do to facilitate the the industry, and by this I mean. Uh, not the, the stakeholders, the various stakeholders, so whether that be class or Kim or, or, or whatever, uh, in speaking with one voice on key issues, I think whatever we can do to do that, that would be, a, if you like, a personal goal of mine.